Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to episode 12 of my Skyblock Let's Play here on my very own server, Neo Network. You can play this server on both Java and Bedrock Minecraft. IPs are down in the top pinned comment and description below. One more little thing, all of my media team members here on the server are recording Let's Plays. We got two of them on right now, Comedic Humor and Sunset Anchor. You can see them in the top left corner of this scoreboard. And uh, essentially those are people who are making YouTube videos or Twitch streams that I am training. And you can find links to their Let's Plays in my description below. Again, I'd really appreciate if you would support them. They're brand new to YouTube, most of them. And uh, it really helps them out. Even when you go over there and just say, hi, Neo sent me, or hey, I really love your content. Anything, any positive stuff, go over to them, watch them. And maybe I don't make enough videos anymore so you guys are missing out and you can go watch them. They're really cool. Okay, well, I have been an absolute grinder for the past week. I told you guys I would be doing it, and I did it. We have 2.6 million Sky Coins. To be fair, we had close to 3 million Sky Coins, but I upgraded my origin a little bit. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have been farming an absolute just ton of sugarcane. Like, I have farmed 148,000 sugarcane. Like I said, we had over 6 million, or we had over 3 million Sky Coins. I spent some on the origin, but we still have enough. We still have 2.5 million Sky Coins. It's taken a long time to get here, okay? Um, it's taken an absolute long time, so if you could leave a like on the video, I would very much be appreciative. Um, we have some pretty good enchants that I've bought, so we have Crop Duster 5, Greater Farming 4, and then that Farm Fortune is just because, well, it should be Farm Fortune 3 here pretty soon. I'm sure the tool will update in just a second, but... What we're going to do now is we are going to expand our island border. So we get to do the very exciting command, IS Deposit Sky Coins. Oh, this is a lot. 2,500,000. 2, and then we're going to go to IS Upgrade. And let's make it bigger. There we go. Okay, so it'll expand the second I go to spawn him back. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, look at this. Look how big our island is now. I did remove the... The, the invisible borders just so we could see how much room we have to work with and let me tell you dude we have quite the island now I'm very happy it was kind of a bad idea to expend the sky coins on this but from a visual perspective it's a very good idea now I don't have a ton of money at the moment so I'm probably just gonna like farm some sugarcane do some fishing and we will buy enough money for dirt uh, what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm going to fill in this dirt here you guys have already seen me do that and then from there, we're gonna start working on the volcano. And our island will finally be somewhat complete. I don't know, it's gonna be a long video today, but it's gonna do a lot of cool things for us. Uh, the farmer's tool did update. We do have farm fortune three. All that means is that sometimes we'll get more sugar cane whenever we break it. So now we're getting four whenever we break it, which is pretty good. We get 50 bucks every single time. So we get a lot of money. Anyways, I'm gonna get some money probably from fishing. I think fishing is probably the move here. So let's grab our fishing rod. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I have a little bit more money. Okay guys, well I was fishing for I don't know how long, but this is the last inventory we're gonna do for now. 194K, which is pretty good. So we got 1.6 million dollars, 244,000 sky coins. I am gonna IS deposit sky coins, 244,000. And I wanted to see if we can potentially get another origin upgrade. So it costs 500,000 sky coins, nice, let's go. So I already had some extras in there. I don't think we can afford it again. So what level are we at now on that? We're at level eight. So we can get diamond blocks and emerald blocks now. Ooh, Kind of want to go see that, see if it'll happen. We're very close to being able to unlock our very own super pick. We still have just a normal pickaxe, which is kind of sad. We should not be in this position this late in the season. I know, I've been slacking on the mining, okay? Uh, but I want to see if we can see a diamond block. It's only 1%, but to be fair, breaking 100 blocks does not take that long. So we'll see. Technically, we have a 2% chance of seeing either one. Um, Please. Okay, I'll mine until I see one. I'm very frustrated. I finally got one, and then I broke it. I was just, you know, walking around breaking, and, and well, you guys know. I accidentally broke it, but yeah, it's pretty cool to see diamond blocks up. Maybe there's one on this side. No, we're okay. 
I did break it. Um, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. But yeah, dude, we, we as you can see, the ores are a lot better. Like the stuff we're getting, like we're getting whole blocks of lapis, and I don't know, dude. Mining was always like my favorite thing on the server. I think it's so much fun. Hopefully next season it's buffed out, but we still got a long ways until season five. So yeah, okay. Let's work on the project. We're gonna go in the shop. We're gonna buy an absolutely obscene amount of dirt. Um, 369,000 for an entire, oh, I have a saddle. So we need to buy one more stack. 369,000. I don't remember, I guess this one wasn't really that curved. So it's just like too high and then you come over here with this. Yeah, I remember how to do this. Okay, well, I'm gonna add this dirt. Uh, I don't think you guys wanna watch me place dirt. It's not the most, uh, <laughs> Not the most exciting, engaging thing in the world, but it's an honest way to make money. It's not. You, you actually don't make any money. You just burn through hundreds of thousands of dollars putting dirt. But Okay, I'll see you when I'm done. All right, guys. Well, the dirt it actually wasn't that much, but we got it randomized. And then over here, we might need to add a little bit of texture, but it was just one little slotch. So not very much. One little swatch. I don't think slotch is a word. One little swatch of dirt. Uh, we'll connect it in the middle. Okay. So the grass will grow on that. That will look good. So now the island is like, you know, it, it looks like it has a surface. One thing I do want to do is I'm going to go out around this with like four blocks or so. And I'm just going to build out four blocks like this, just so that we have like a little platform up here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, uh, but we do need to build a donation center where we can or a, a giveaway center so we can run our giveaway. Our donation chests are nearing full. So yeah, I'll come back when I'm done with this. It's just a lot of building. So a lot of dirt placing. All right, well, hopefully when we come back, it'll be nice. Okay, well, as promised, I got the dirt done. Didn't actually take that long. It's not too bad. And now we have this nice dirt border and then I think we'll build like a wall around it or something like that. Uh, but yes, the island is coming to fruition. Next step, we're going to build the volcano. I say we, but it's just you, the viewer, and me. So we are going to build it. Really, I am. And you're going to watch. It'll be fun. So I don't know exactly what materials we're going to be using, but I know it's going to be a lot of stone. I don't know about... See, the thing is, we have like, you know, like cobbled deep slate and stuff like that. And I believe like we can use blackstone and whatnot, but I don't, I think actually, yeah, blackstone would look cool. We could do like a mix of basalt, blackstone and smooth basalt. So let's buy like a couple of stacks of this and then a couple of stacks of this. I say a couple, I'm buying like seven stacks and then the rest out of blackstone. These three should mix pretty well, especially if we're doing like a texturing thing where it's like, Something like this, you know, I think those will work pretty well. So the idea here is that we're going to kind of follow this pattern going up and then it's just going to continue on, but making a volcano, it's going to be like one side of the volcano, if that makes sense. So lava will pour down. It's not going to be like the whole thing is a, is a volcano because I'm not going to make a three dimensional one that just wouldn't make sense in the context that I'm going for here but I do want it to be like a very, very tall sheer thing. So maybe like up to there, something like that, and then have lava pouring down the side of it. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, well, again, there's not really a whole lot to film. Like, it's not that I just want to not show you guys stuff, but like, what am I, what am I gonna do? The majority of my time is gonna be spending or spent on like texturing and, and making sure stuff like looks good together i am gonna do this so i can kind of frame it out so maybe a lava wall is a better a better phrasing for it okay so let's see so yeah this one just needs to come up a little bit more it's okay if it's not perfectly in line it's not a big deal okay and then what i'm gonna do is probably have my inventory be like uh, scrambled so like we'll have a stack of blackstone okay so we'll do smooth basalt blackstone and then basalt so smooth basalt blackstone and then smooth basalt what was the pattern <laughs> smooth basalt wait smooth basalt basalt why is my brain having so much trouble 
What is the next in this pattern? It is Blackstone, and then it's the Basalt. Okay, and then I'll unlock my scroll wheel, and then I'll just kind of place it like this. And it'll be completely random. And then we'll have to follow kind of the, the pattern down here. We don't need to follow it exactly, but it'll be okay. And that will give us a good variety of materials. So I'm gonna place the entirety of this thing. I will see you guys when I'm done. Should be pretty fun, maybe, potentially. But yeah, hopefully it turns out well. See you in a bit. Okay guys, well the wall, <laughs> I'm calling it a wall, it's kind of a volcano, is done. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna leave it like a wall or kind of carve up the sides like that. Like, let me give you an idea. So I, I kind of like carve them up like that so it looks more like a volcano. I really don't know. I think we're gonna leave it like a wall. This could be kind of cool. And then just have some lava dripping out of it. So let's go in the shop and let's buy some lava buckets. I don't think we're gonna need very many. Um, and then uh, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. So we'll just put them kinda haphazardly at first and then we'll see how it falls. Cause I don't know if we'll need more or less lava buckets. It just kinda depends how this works. I also really don't want it going off the sides. So let me buy like a stack of grass blocks just in case it decides to be tricky. Oh no. Okay, so it's just falling right there. So it's actually not that bad. I think that would be it, right? Nope. It is a block over. Something like this. I don't have much time to prepare now. No, do not break. Do not do not go off the edge. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I think there's this side. Is it going off the edge? No, it's not. Okay, cool. See, these lava flows are a little bit boring. That one's cool, but I feel like the ones in the middle should look the coolest. Let's go back in the shop. We will just buy some blackstone. Um, and then I'll just kind of like, doop. <laughs> just kind of expand it out right there. Then maybe down here it expands again. And then down here and down here. I think I have the lava physics down. So this will branch it out right there. This will branch it out right there. And then right here and right here, we want it to come out again. And then the same goes for this one. So this will branch it out. This will branch it out. And then this, something like that. Okay, that'll make it look a, li a bit more lava wall-y. Now the problem is it's going into our fishing area and making ores. <laughs> so that, that's something we might want to replace those with like cobblestone or something. Okay, so we have our lava wall. This tree, unfortunately, I think is gonna have to go. It's just like a little bit in the way. I wanna be able to see our lava wall. And since we have lumberjack, it makes it so nice to take trees away. Like it's literally so nice. The enchant is called lumberjack two. That allows you to break logs instantly. Lumberjack one is only leaves instantly, I believe. Okay, and even while you're flying it works. So you can just like absolutely wreck a tree. And it's kind of quiet and quaint. See, nice. I just want to see it, you know, without having to look through a tree at it, if that makes sense. Okay, so it's almost all the way gone. Okay, so looking at it initially, I'm not totally sure. Let's see, we did expand the lava out how we said we wanted. That's kind of cool. I feel like, I feel like, okay, so what we need to do next, we're running out of money though. What we really needed to do next is, I guess build like a wall around here and then some sort of like ceiling maybe, I'm not sure. Let me, let me ponder for a bit here. So yeah, I mean, this looks a little whack, guys. Um, there's a few solutions. One of them is very expensive and time consuming, and I think it might be our only option. And that is building a sheer wall around this entire thing. Let me explain what I mean here. Don't wanna drop our tools accidentally. We're gonna keep our pickaxe. I think this is what we're gonna do. Now, the problem being if we just do like a wall like this, so let me kind of explain. The wall would be like this, and it would have to be as tall as the volcano, and it would go like all the way around, and then it would look like there's a wall. We could put little coal veins in it or whatnot. It could look pretty good, um, and then we need to build some sort of roof. 
Now, maybe, no, we're not going to build a roof, but I, I think you guys kind of know what I mean. The problem being is that should we make the wall kind of the same pattern as, as the volcano? You know what I mean? I don't really know because I, I don't know where the volcano starts and ends right there because of the lava. We may have to temporarily take away this, this, this piece of lava right here. Well, let's do that. Oh, my gosh. I, oh, water. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, I don't know if I wanted to. Sh I, I don't know if I want to shape it like that because that will take even longer. I don't know. Let's start out with something like this. Got to place all these blocks. This is this is gonna be a time consuming. Actually, you know what? Since it's a straight line, it actually won't take that much time. So let me do this all the way around, and then I'll come back and we'll see how it looks. I might have to fish to get more money too. Oh goodness. Okay. It's been like an hour and a half, an hour, somewhere around there. It can't be less than an hour. There's no way that took less than an hour. Went to D-Boss, fought, fought a little bit of dragons to try to get some money. It worked out okay. I mainly just fished. But yes, we have the wall built. And you may be thinking, Neo, it looks a little strange. But hear me out. From the player perspective, like down here, where you're actually playing, you know, maybe you're flying around stuff, it doesn't look too bad. It needs something above it. Otherwise, it looks a little strange just being like a sheer wall at the top. But I have a few ideas. First of all, we're going to spot it with just some coal and stuff. We have enough money where I think we can afford to, like, for example, I think it might be kind of expensive. Oh, you can't buy it. It's unbuyable. Ooh, Okay. So we're going to have to get like a silk touch pickaxe. This will actually be kind of fun. It's not something we've had to do in a while. Um, to get below now is a little bit tricky. I think we'll end up putting trap doors here probably. Just so that we have a bunch of ways to get down. So what I'm going to do is grab some trap doors from our jungle wood chest. And this should work just fine. And it won't look bad. It'll look good. Okay, so now we have some integrated exit points. Nice. Okay, so let's see. I know we have some diamonds. There is an ink sack in here. That's great. I had to cover this up because people were just trolling me and putting the strangest things in there. Um. Okay, and then let's go grab some sticks. Okay, so we're going to make like a diamond pickaxe. We're just going to give it some very basic enchants. I'll probably just give it like... A really high level of it's gonna take a lot of money actually we'll give it a high level of efficiency and then we'll just give it silk touch we'll give it unbreaking three and then ah. up to there actually that wasn't that much at all no it's not that expensive okay so now we get to mine things like is set origin we're gonna set it to be like level three I think that'll probably give us the most and I want to break it from over here where the way ore hoppers don't take everything. This should probably give us like the most coal and iron. Because I think what we want to stick to is like coal and iron. So maybe even a level higher. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, we found a pet egg. What did we get? Anything good? Oh yeah, and you want to know what I completely forgot? We have 19 pollen keys to open. I just always keep my player AFK. And uh, we did a lot of big key alls. And I have 19 pollen keys. So we're gonna open all of these and we're gonna see what we get. We're gonna hold down shift, click it, and then press escape, let's see what we got. We got a mythical chest, that's really good. Wait, what? You can get that from here? Yes, you can. Ooh, okay. So we can put island value in there and not have to place it by hand. A million bucks, some extreme enchant books, a mystical key, six ore hoppers. And then some really good boosters, auto sell chest. Nice, dude. Okay. Well, let's hope we get something good here. Something good. Yes, dude. Let's go. Okay, so we have a lot of books to open. Oh, we have oh, we have eight now. Okay, cool. <laughs> Multi-kill three! Oh, we already have that. But that's still really good. We'll do auction hand. Actually, I'm gonna see what is multi-kill going for. Uh, multi-kill three. Is anyone even selling it? Multi-kill three. Okay, we'll do auction hand. We'll do for 20 million. Something like that. Okay, back to the island. Okay, so we have it auctioned for 20 million. Anything else good in here? Condenser three. 
I'm pretty sure we have condenser three. We'll just keep both of them since they're both pretty good. I'm gonna put this on here off the bat, actually. Huh. Okay, so now we have it. And that way we have another condenser book for when we make our super pickaxe. And there's multi-kill four I got from there, but everything else is pretty much just uh, sell it. So we'll, or not sell it, but just, uh, yeah, sell it back to the enchant shop to get our money back. We are not actually getting our money back. We're getting our XP back. How about that? Auto sell chest. We'll go put that up in. I don't remember where I was putting those. Was it in my PV1? Probably. They don't really need to go in there. Okay, we don't want to put that in there. Spawners, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I was putting them in here. Okay, cool. And then hoppers obviously go in here. I could organize this a little bit better. <laughs> it's a little haphazard. Just a little bit haphazard. Put those over there, those down there. Okay, cool. And then boosters, of course, just go in my PV1. I need to get better about using my boosters. I hardly ever use them, if I'm honest. Uh, the mythical chest we should probably put in here as well in the middle so we don't forget about it. And then I will for sure take a million bucks. That means I don't have to grind quite as much. And we still have these spawners. He's going to go away. Now, this may be an hour long episode, guys, because I, I want to put big veins of like coal, have some leaves like kind of dripping down. It's going to look really cool. You just you got to you got to keep your mind open, man. You got to keep your mind open for this. So I'm going to mine for just a bit. So I can get a bunch of ores. I really only want to keep like iron and coal. So I'm just going to spread it out as much as I can. Uh, we don't need diamonds. I know throwing diamonds down <laughs> hurts me too. Okay. Uh, we don't really need stone. We'll keep like a little bit of emerald would be cool. And a little bit of diamond would be cool. Redstone would be cool too, but not that much. And then lapis. We can do like a few splotches of. Uh, we got to go in our PV one and put this up okay well i'll come back whenever i have um this array of things filled up in my inventory oh this is gonna be interesting man this is gonna be interesting Just put yeah we'll put it up there okay i'll come back when this is all full okay well as you can see we filled up most of it some of these are more rare than others so it just would have taken forever um, but yeah we have almost everything completely full which is nice so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these ores and we're just going to make big splotches in the walls just to kind of make it feel hopefully closer to being like an actual like a uh, world, I guess. It's so like, for example, right here, we're going to put coal because coal veins can spawn big like this. Okay. And then like, you know, I, I'll try to put like regular sized ore veins. I'm not going to make it like extreme. And then we'll put like even diamonds, right? Okay. So I'll go around. I'll just kind of randomly put these bad boys down and it should be pretty cool when we're done. Hopefully it'll look like something like this. And then very rarely we don't have very many. Em well, actually, no, we have a whole, we had a whole stack. I didn't even know. We'll have like a few emeralds as well. Just kind of sprung about. Okay. Well, I'll come back whenever this is done and hopefully it ends up looking pretty cool. Okay, guys. Well, it's been a while and I finally got it done. We added all the ores. Oh, no. Is the developer on? No. Someone's messing with me. I'm sure someone's messing with me. We got it done. I think it looks decent, especially from the ground. Like most people are going to be, you know, like up in here grinding. Well, probably not grinding tier one mobs. But by the way, I spent a lot of the money I made grinding this week on blaze spawners. We got 60 blaze spawners. So if you guys want XP, do slash IS visit the Neo Cubist. I will make my island public so you guys can come here and grind blazes, man. That's really going to help you. Well, this episode took me a long, long time to record. And I know I didn't show a whole ton of the stuff we did, but that's just because a lot of it was just placing blocks. So you don't want to watch that. But I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, I hope you guys are uh, going to check out other media creators and watch their Let's Plays. A lot of them are more active than even me. But, you know, I got to do a lot of behind the scenes stuff with the server. But I don't know. I've Overall, I've just been very happy, especially in my life and the current place I'm at. I've been very happy. And that's worth way more than getting more views. It really is. I appreciate you guys infinitely. Come check out Neo Network if you haven't. Um, you can play it on console now. So if you have a console, all you have to do is add play Neo, Neo Network as a friend. 
It's super easy. So if you're connecting with Bedrock together, try this instead. You have to add them as a friend inside of Minecraft. But again, just play Neo Network, one word. Add them as a friend, and then it basically just spoofs it, and you can join their game, and you're on the server. So it's pretty cool. So anyways, secret code for today's episode is going to be... 2642. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me the watch the entirety of today's video. Again, that's 2642. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!